Nearly $1 billion. That's the price of the bond that voters approved in the Northside Independent School District last month. But at what cost to NISD teachers? So staff members at multiple schools within the district told us that administrators relentlessly pressured them to head to the polls, tracked whether they voted, and in one case, threatened to punish them if they didn't cast a ballot. Night Team's Dylan Collier investigates whether some of those administrators broke state law. It was brought up that the higher ups were incentivizing uh, school admin to get the staff to vote. This Northside teacher asked that we call them Alex and take steps to disguise their identity. They are the latest NISD staff member to detail the squeeze put on employees who live in the district to vote on Northside's $992 million bond, which was approved by voters last month and will provide funds for renovations, infrastructure improvements, and safety upgrades at the city's largest school district. We felt seriously pressured as staff to have to go and vote. Otherwise, we were told we could potentially receive punishments. Emails obtained by the defenders show an elementary school principal touting specific upgrades that were on the table, then ratcheting up the pressure once early voting began in late April, writing that if the bond does not pass, there were potentially no raises for anyone in the near future, a missive that appeared to be hovering very close to the territory of electioneering. There's more. May 2nd, a message from Henderson Elementary's principal revealed the district was tracking how many staff members from the school had voted, applying heat when the teachers should have been preparing their students for the STAR state assessment tests. You have other staff members expressed concerns about how this all played out in recent weeks? Absolutely. They felt harassed and pressured, especially with the daily emails. Northside was already forced to address this controversy last month after one of its other principals sent out messaging telling staff they were expected to vote for the measure. A district spokesman declined an interview request from us, citing the since-launched state investigation into whether that was a violation of the Texas election code. Public school employees can disseminate information about a specific item being voted on if the communication does not advocate passage or defeat of the measure. Alex says the evidence is clear. Northside administrators went too far. It's truly just voter intimidation, which is incredibly illegal. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Governor Greg Abbott asked both the state attorney general's office and the Texas Education Agency to look into messaging sent out to Northside employees about the bond. The district has responded to the TEA, but neither the district or the agency has provided a copy to KSAT.